Hello everybody, big day for us. We are finally putting solar panels on our roof. We've been wanting to do this for a long time, so we're super excited. Um, we weren't gonna actually do this right now. We were gonna wait until we got back towards home, but at the last minute we thought, you know what, we can probably get this project done. When we're off grid, it would be so nice to have these hooked up. So we're hoping we can get this done. Because of that, because we're in such a hurry and we don't really have a whole lot of tools at our disposal, we went ahead and ordered some products from 8020.net. They have a lot of different series. They come in different sizes and every series has a whole bunch of different attachments and accessories and all kinds of stuff. This is the 40 series. It's about two inches square. It comes with two slots. You can get them with one, two, three, or four slots all the way around. We wanted only two because we wanted the sides to be nice and clean. Also, we had this machined for us by one of the 8020 partners. If you go on their website, you'll see that if you need some cuts made or some taps, um, they can do it for you. So we had this tapped for an M6 thread. So that doesn't normally come included with the product, but you can get it done. So we ordered, we told them the length we needed and Told them what we needed to do and they came up with this this is another 8020 product i'm going to call it a riser i'm not sure what you call it but i will link it in the description below um, that's going to go right on there with a bolt holding it in and once it's attached it's going to look like that then to hold this to the roof we have drop-in studs these will drop into our roof racks and turn 90 degrees, and then you can put a nut on it. And that will secure these to the van. Then to secure the solar panel to the crossbar, we are gonna use slide-in T-nuts with a bolt installed on them. And they slide in just like that, and then they can't turn, so you can put a nut on that as well. And then that'll go on there and we'll put a bunch of those in here, put nuts on and bang, we're all set. 8020 also makes drop-in studs for these, very similar to this one. Uh, and I had ordered those to start with, but I got the wrong size. And so they didn't fit right and they were a royal pain to work with. And we are really on crunch time now. We don't have time to screw around. So I knew this would work. So what I did is I ordered a whole bunch of slide-in T-nuts and bolts, and I got some Loctite permanent thread locker. That's why you can see the little bit of red around there. These will not come apart. So basically, I have a slide-in stud now. Each crossbar is going to have two solar panels going across. So I've got two, four, times two, six, eight. I'm going to need eight of these studs in each crossbar. So I'm going to drop eight in here and then I'll go put this on the roof. Okay, I've got my three bars mounted here. I've got my slide in T-nuts with studs and I am ready to bring up the solar panels. So that was the first one, and then after three more, there they are. So putting all those on the roof yesterday was basically just a dry run. I wanted to make sure I had the crossbars positioned correctly, and I also wanted to make sure I had all the right hardware this time to make sure these would actually be fastened securely to the roof. I've taken them back off. I need to get the cables situated so that they will be easy to connect to one another because I'm going to put four of these together all in series. This is the driver's side rear, the driver's side forward, passenger side rear and the passenger side forward and what I've done here this is how they ship so this is how I mounted them yesterday but taking them off today I put cable ties here so that this one 
will be easy to reach this one when I put these two back on the roof. This one here will be easy to connect to this one once I get it set up. Okay, I've got these almost all right where I want them. Um, there's not holes everywhere on the bottom of this frame, and so in some cases it wasn't too easy to find a place to, to put a cable tie. That's where these little guys come in. So I got a package of these. I'll link them in the description below. Basically, you peel the backing off and stick it on there, and it gives you a little anchor to put a cable tie through. Just like that. Okay, it's all done again. This time they're all wired together in series though, so I'm pretty much done up here. Uh, I've got a cable coming out the back for the female connector. This is the negative lead on the driver's side. There's the positive lead. So now I just need to put together my cables going down to the charge controller. Okay, I've run the wires. I don't have them hooked up to the solar panels yet. I'm gonna wait until after I get everything connected down below. But basically the wires are coming along the roof here. I'm gonna get some more of those little dudes to fasten these down with. They come right under this rear bar and they go into this roof entry gland, which I got. It's, this, it's a Link Solar. I will um, put a link to this in the description. Um, and I still need to attach this with some Dicor lap sealant, which is the next thing I'm gonna do. Um, but anyway, they come inside, then they go right along the roof and then down along the corner of the van. And you can see them hanging right down there. So the next thing I gotta do is seal this up with the adhesive. And then we'll go down below and see what I need to do to connect all of this. Real quick, I just want to say you may have seen the black cap with the wire coming out of it on top of that solar roof entry gland. Those were for a totally separate project. They have nothing to do with the solar that we've been installing. So I just wanted to clear that up in case that was confusing. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up right now. We'll call this part one. And part two, we'll, we'll get into how we hook all of this stuff up to the existing electrical system in the van. Um, but until then, we're going to call it. So be sure and look in the description below because I'm linking all the parts and components that we've used to put this together. Also, look in the description below for a link to our blog post on this install because that's going to be more detailed. I'm going to include lengths of all the uh, 80 20 bars that we bought. I'm going to give you part numbers. I'm going to show pictures of the various different pieces of hardware because the 80 20 website can be a little confusing if you don't know what you're looking for. So I'll just show you what we used and maybe that'll help you out. Anyway, give us a thumbs up. That would sure help us out and subscribe to our channel. We love putting out videos like this and once you're subscribed, you'll be able to see them a lot more easily. So until next time, thanks so much. Bye.